<laughs> Roofer is up at the top. <laughs> hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines and today I'm going to talk to you about seven cool photography projects you can do to get those creative juices flowing. Stay tuned. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Want to make sure you are up to date with everything on this channel? Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell. Also, don't forget more detailed versions of this video are on my blog, and you can also subscribe to the newsletter in the description. So the first type of project I want to talk to you about is a picture a day. A picture a day project is viable if there is a point in time in your day where you can allot to photography. A picture a day project offers a time slash deadline to what you might see as just a hobby. So for those photographers who consider themselves a bit less disciplined than most people, get your game on. This challenge is for you. Examples of this type of project could be mornings in the month of May, your daughter's growth, behind the scenes of a big event preparation. With all students I work with, I always get feedback that they never thought they could come out with such insightful, creative and original content on their own. A picture a day is a hidden gem. Project idea number two, and this one is called gear restrictions because it forces you to work with the equipment you already have. A gear restriction photography project tells the photographer to create an outing with only limited camera gear. This gear can be only a camera body, only a camera lens, or even a type of photography medium. Examples of gear restriction projects could be shoot a project with only film photography, shoot landscapes on a day hike with only your 23 millimeter fixed focal. You see, photography projects with gear restrictions force the photographer to abandon the idea that they absolutely need a piece of gear they do not have. It also gets the photographer to explore and appreciate what photo gear they already do have. Talk about a project that'll fight gear acquirement syndrome. I love it. This is the stadium, the white elephant of our city. The stadium was built to attract uh, a hockey team to our city. It cost $400 million, almost a billion dollars. And we're at the, what, I think it's been five years built. We still don't have a hockey team and I don't think we ever will. Believe it or not, the stadium is actually getting old now in terms of NHL uh, norms. Uh, the next project I want to talk to you guys about is associating a non-visual theme and using visuals to communicate that. Sometimes a photography project can be a little less time constrained and more ongoing. These types of photo projects tend to be a bit more conceptual. If you want to hone your communication skills, associate a non-visual goal with a visual medium of communication like photography. This exercise can work wonders. Example of non-visual photography projects goals could be make 10 photos that communicate happiness. Make a photo collage that accentuates surprise. Present 40 photos that show the passage of time. Another photography project I think most people should have is to drive somewhere and capture the local beauty. Every place has its magic. Unfortunately, we are often blind to the magic of a place when we live there too long. Because we are so blind to the magic of our surroundings, our best bet is to browse a local area's tourism website. They design these sites to sell the area and therefore can point you in the right direction. And believe it or not, even though you've lived in a town for years, you most likely don't know where to go to find the visual magic of where you live. Here's a fun one that I think is really, really cool. It's pretending that you have yourself a contract, that you're already working on a photography contract. To pretend to have a contract is more of an attitude approach than an actual project idea. 
Now the idea in this one is to pretend you've received an order for a client for a specific type of visual. For this one, I strongly suggest that you put all the time constraints and limitations that a contract might have into this fictitious contract order. However, remember that if you are inventing this project, you have to make sure that it is fun and something you want. This type of photography project forces a project goal on the photographer and permits a photographer to practice for real life projects that might arise in the future. Example of these types of projects can be my friend's wedding, marketing a local coffee shop, pretend you work for the local tourism board. Projects like this force you to do a lot of research because you'll be looking at photography norms, competitors websites and already successful campaigns to base your project on and the last project idea i have for you guys is self portraits now this is one i love doing a self portrait project hones two skill sets that solves multiple problems at the same time by making the subject you you force yourself to understand what a subject goes through also you get pictures of yourself Good self-portraits of a photographer have got to be one of the rarest things out there. I do not know one photographer that can honestly say that they have enough photos of themselves. These self-portrait projects also force you to get past the self-awareness that every person has in photography. I still struggle with this. For me, it has to do with getting past the vanity of taking pictures of me. I'm just not comfortable with it. This is precisely the reason why a self-portrait project is the perfect thing for me. Self-portraits really, really get you out of your comfort zone. Another thing to remember is that some failures bring about great wins. You might start with a project goal, but end up with another more amazing project conclusion. The most important thing is the journey. And speaking of journeys, Skillshare is a learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. They've got tons of classes for the creative and curious on a whole slew of topics, letting you discover illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. I personally learned a whole ton about street photography, artistic photography, and filmmaking. Skillshare is an online learning platform that is easy and effortless to use and offers you way more than you thought. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So make sure to click the link in this video description to unlock your passions through discovery and learning with Skillshare. So stick with it, guys, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing.